Katie from Hearts Comes Out Farmhouse, and today we're going to be making canned cowboy candy, otherwise known as candy jalapenos. So first of all, um, one thing that I always talk about is planning a second planting of your summer vegetables like sometime in June so that they are ready to harvest now in October and you can do all your canning when it's cool out. Um, so my second planting of peppers is coming in really well right now and so I was really excited that I could feel really smart and be canning when it was cool. And of course, this October it's been in the 90s every single week and I've had no choice but to just carry on and can these peppers because we're tired of eating them fresh. I planted them for canning and it's just time to do it. So that was terrible advice and I'm sorry if you followed it. Anyway, cowboy candy is a really sort of fun thing to do. A lot of people um, like to give it as gifts because it has a cool name and it seems kind of special. Um, basically it is just jalapenos that are cooked in a little bit of a sugar syrup, spices are added, and then you can water bath can them or you can just put them in your fridge and you can, they're actually really versatile. They sound kind of weird, but they have a lot of meat uses. You can put them in a quesadilla, like any way that you would just use a pickled jalapeno, you can use these candied jalapenos. They just have a little bit of sweetness, but you can also use them in um, things like putting them on a block of cream cheese, pour them on top, and then it makes a really good appetizer, like to spread on crackers. Um, if you've ever had a cocktail with jalapenos in it. This is a really good twist on that. Um, like I have a really good recipe. I didn't make it up, but a good recipe for a pineapple jalapeno cocktail. I'll actually link that below because it's really good. And these are perfect in that. And this doesn't make a huge batch. So if it's something you're not really sure about, just go ahead and try it. It just makes um, five or six little half pint jars and you can use those up no problem. So we're going to start with three pounds of jalapeno peppers. I like to pick a combination of red and green just because I think it looks prettier. The red are a little bit sweeter, but they take longer to ripen. So this is totally up to you. You could do all green, all red, or a combination. Um, and three pounds of the peppers is going to equal out to about eight cups of the sliced jalapenos. And then we're going to, um, so you go ahead and cut those just into rings, quarter inch thick, but you don't have to measure it. Just whatever looks like a normal slice of a jalapeno to you, go ahead and cut it. And make sure you wear gloves for this because you're dealing with so many of them that you are gonna get those hot oils in your hand and it really burns if you touch your eyes or anything else. Um, so you're really gonna want gloves whenever you're working with a big quantity of hot peppers. So go ahead and slice those up and then right away we can get started on the syrup. All it is is one and a half cups of white vinegar um, three cups, three cups of white sugar, and then I like to add some sweet spices. This is optional. Um, some people do garlic um, and like onion powder and things like that. I think that kind of ruins the whole sweet aspect of the jalapenos. I think that that is better suited to just like plain pickled jalapenos. So for these, I do something a little bit different. I put in a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of turmeric, and a teaspoon of ginger, and I think it is really good. I think cinnamon and jalapeno actually go really well together, even though you wouldn't expect it. So you put all those things into like a wide saucepan. Um, you want something that has sides to it, so not like a frying pan, either a wide stock pot or a saucepan with sides because we need a lot of surface area so that that syrup can start to cook down and thicken. Um, bring everything to a boil, and it, it kind of takes you're gonna be nervous about scorching it or it boiling over. You just have to stand right next to it and watch it. So you bring all this to a boil. It's gonna boil up really big and then bring it down to a simmer and then let it just cook on the stove top about five to seven minutes until it starts to thicken. You can just take a spoon, pick it up, and when that syrup starts to coat the back of the spoon, you know it's thick enough to add your jalapenos in. And now they need to cook in the syrup for a few minutes um, I bring it back up to a boil once the jalapenos are added and then let them cook for about five minutes on a simmer. Um, they're going to change color from that really fresh deep green to more of like a pea green, like what you would expect a pickled jalapeno to look like. Um, and once that's done, all we have to do is pour them into the cans and store them. So if you just want to refrigerate these, just put, pour them into the cans, use the funnel, put the lid on, and then keep them in the fridge for up to five months. If you want to water bath can them, you'll have to start a canner of boiling water, do your typical canning things where you're preheating your jars, your lids, and your rings, twist the lids on fingertip tight, leaving about a quarter inch of headspace, process them in the boiling water canner um, for 10 minutes for half pints or 15 minutes for full pint jars. Um, if you've never canned before, you're going to want to check out some more in-depth canning resources. If I can find good ones, I will link those below too. So this is a fun recipe. It's a great way to use up jalapenos and hopefully it is not so hot where you are and you are able to get this done in a cooler kitchen and enjoy it a little bit more. Um, but it's
it's fun thing to have for the holidays because you'll always have an appetizer on hand if you have a jar of these and cream cheese and crackers. Um, and they just have a lot of fun little uses. So I hope you give them a try. If you have any questions about canning or anything else, just leave me a comment. And thank you for watching.